This lesson is about number sense. Number sense is a general awareness of things about numbers. Although number sense is a category of items on standardized math tests, there aren't any chapters in math textbooks that address it. Things about numbers are just integrated throughout everything else you learn in math. Having number sense makes math a lot easier. The first kind of numbers that you learn about, probably in kindergarten or first grade, are called the natural numbers. Natural numbers are used for counting things. We have three apples here, and three is a natural number. Adding natural numbers makes sense. If you had three apples and you added three more apples, you would end up with more apples than you started with. You could count the total number of apples, and that would be the answer to adding those natural numbers. So the number sense here is the underlying idea that adding two natural numbers together will always result in a larger answer. If you added three apples and three apples and got an answer that was less than three, let's say two apples, you should instantly recognize that something has gone horribly wrong. That sense that you get, the sense of wrongness, is your number sense telling you that adding two natural numbers should always give you a larger answer. The next set of numbers we're going to look at is the whole numbers. The only difference between the natural numbers and the whole numbers is that the whole numbers include zero. It may not even seem worth it to have a whole new category of numbers just to include zero, but if you're going to start subtracting numbers, it's really important to have a way to represent the idea of having nothing left. We will be able to subtract once we have a number set that includes zero. So far, we've talked about two sets of numbers. First, there are the natural numbers, which are for counting things or combining two groups of things into one group. And our number sense about them tells us that you'll always get a larger number when you add two natural numbers together. Then, we also looked at the whole numbers. The natural numbers are actually a part of the whole numbers, which are simply the natural numbers with zero thrown in as well. Now this isn't just something that might be on a test someday. When you understand how these different types of numbers behave and what to expect from them, math becomes a lot easier. When you first learned about subtraction, you only knew about natural and whole numbers, and subtraction meant to take away when using those kinds of numbers. If you have five apples and you take away three, how many apples will you have? Well, your number sense would tell you that you can't take away the apples if you don't have them. For instance, you can't have five apples and then take away seven. Your number sense also tells you that with subtraction, the answer is always going to be smaller. Now this intuition, this number sense that you have, is perfectly true when it comes to natural and whole numbers. When we are only using natural and whole numbers, Division means separate into equally sized groups. For example, 18 divided by 6 can be thought of as taking 18 apples and putting them into 6 equal sized groups of 3. Now there could be a few objects left over after we do this process. That would give us a remainder. Now what does our number sense tell us about this whole process? First of all, the number in each group has got to be less than 18. And more generally, division will always result in a smaller number, unless, of course, you're dividing by 1, which is a sort of special case where you're not really doing anything. Here, 18 divided by 6 is 3, because when we divide 18 apples into 6 equal groups, there are 3 apples in each group with no apples left over. The number sense that younger students develop tells them that adding and multiplying two numbers always gives a larger number, or that subtracting means taking away and will always give a smaller number, and also that you obviously can't take away what you don't have. And division obviously always results in an answer that is smaller than what you started with. Now, their number sense, as we've already said, is correct when it comes to natural and whole numbers. But these intuitions may not apply to other kinds of numbers. For instance, a lot of the time when people first encounter the idea of subtracting negative numbers, they try to apply these intuitions, and they end up getting horribly confused. Sometimes they even end up thinking that they're just bad at math. But really, 
They just haven't realized that their old intuitions only applied to countable objects, and different kinds of numbers that they learn about later on are used for different purposes than counting objects. An entirely different set of intuitions, indeed an entirely new number sense, needs to be learned to account for these new kinds of numbers. When you get a little older, you learn about the rational numbers. The rational numbers have a different purpose. They perform a different job from the natural and whole numbers. With rational numbers, we can also talk about parts of objects. We have more than one way to write the rational numbers. We can write them as fractions or ratios, and we can write them as decimals. Notice that the root word of rational is ratio. This is because the rational numbers include any numbers that can be expressed as a ratio of whole numbers. This would, for instance, include one-third, or one over three, even though it would have to be written with an infinitely repeating decimal. But it doesn't include pi, which would be impossible to represent as a ratio. It is irrational, or irrational, because you can't represent it as a ratio. With rational numbers, you can divide by a number that is less than 1. This is because division with rationals does not mean that you are dividing into equally sized groups. There are indeed rules for dividing by numbers which are less than 1, but trying to imagine a group of apples being divided into 0.6 equally sized groups is an incoherent idea. It will only confuse you to try to imagine it this way. Your number sense about natural and whole numbers simply no longer applies. Dividing by one half, or one over two, is the same as multiplying by two, or two over one. Don't try to make the natural number rules make sense, because they don't in this situation. This also means that with rational numbers, dividing doesn't necessarily give you a smaller number. This is another one of your intuitions that is being overwritten. Note, again, that this doesn't mean that your intuitions about whole and natural numbers are no longer true. They're still true if you're only using whole or natural numbers. It's just that they don't apply with rational numbers. So you got a little bit older, and now you know about three kinds of numbers. The naturals, the wholes, and the rationals. And they all serve different purposes. With the natural numbers, we can count objects, we can combine groups of objects into larger groups. With the holes, we can start with a larger group of objects and take some of those objects away, and we can even take away everything we have and be left with nothing. With the rationals, we can write them as fractions or decimals, and they play an entirely different role. We use them to perform operations on parts of full objects, or ratios. Notice that natural and whole numbers could also be written as ratios, so they are rational numbers. That is, they're included in that set. If you look at the diagram, you'll understand. At some point, you learn about integers. Now, actually, the rationals include positive and negative numbers, but negative numbers aren't usually introduced until we start talking about the integers. And integers serve a different purpose. They allow us to go up and down the number line on either side of zero. You're familiar with temperatures going both above and below zero. Or with money, you can go into debt and be below zero. Or on a football field, you can gain or lose yards. Now, just like before, your number sense about naturals might not apply to integers. For instance, Subtraction of a negative number can give you a larger amount than you started out with. Not to mention, the old number sense that you can't take away more than you have certainly doesn't apply. You might not be able to have a negative number of apples, but if the temperature is 20 degrees out, the temperature can drop by 30 degrees and end up at negative 10 degrees. In this sense, subtraction isn't even taking things away, it's just moving by a certain amount along the number line. It's important to re-emphasize that the things you came to believe before you knew about integers may not apply to integers. One way that applying old number sense can confuse a person is with word problems. In particular, let's examine this word problem. John has six pounds of coffee. He uses half a pound per day. How many days will his coffee last? 
a lot of the times people will start out with a few number sense insights. For instance, they know that the answer will be larger than six, but then they apply the wrong number sense and think that since the answer is going to be larger, they need to use multiplication or addition. But we're not dealing with natural or whole numbers here, so that number sense doesn't apply. Remember that when we're dealing with rational numbers, division can give you a larger number, just as multiplication can give you a smaller number. Six divided by a half is the same thing as six times two, which is 12. If you find it easier to reason with whole or natural numbers, you can substitute because the operation for solving the problem is going to be the same no matter what the numbers are. For instance, in this word problem, we could say that John uses two pounds instead of half a pound of coffee per day. You can then use your natural number sense to decide that division is the appropriate operation. And the operation is going to be the same no matter what the numbers are. Different types of numbers do different things for us, and they require different kinds of number sense.